my right, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahabashai, Bahasham, Wahavaka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahabashai, who we reverence and honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning across the globe okay it's going to be another exhortational video okay putting off the, the Lord Yehoshua from day to day don't put it don't put it off okay don't put off the Lord Yehoshua from day to day look what he's done look at everything he's done let's go to Ecclesiasticus chapter 5 and 7 Ecclesiasticus 5 and let's go straight to verse 7 make no tarrying to turn to the Lord so you're not supposed to tarry you're not supposed to be what, dra dragging your feet okay we're going to quickly go into that word tarry tarry delay and that's where that's where you get the words retard retard from. A retard is someone that's slow. Okay? So if you're tarrying, you're being slow. You're being retarded. Okay? From Latin tarde to delay. Okay, so you're delaying. Okay? To expirate. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? To loiter, to lounge, for to lollygag, loaf. Okay? Lallygag, hang around, linger, lurk, mill about. Which what? When you do this, what does Satan? Satan uses your vessel to work mischief. Okay, hesitantly. Okay, so we're not supposed to be hesitant when it comes to serving your harbai sham your shy. Okay, and I want to get back into doing videos like this. Okay, to put a little pep in your step. Make no telling to turn to the Lord Yahweh I was shy and put not off from day to day. Script says put not off. Ah, uh, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it another time. Not now. Maybe, maybe another day. I'll do it in a couple of hours. Come to a couple of hours, you don't do it. Another couple of hours. What? The, then the day... Then it's the day gone. Another day. No, no, I'll do, it, I'll do it tomorrow. Then that day is gone. Then it's five days. I'll do it after that. Then it's a week. I'll do it after... Then it's a month. And the next thing, you're out of the truth. So putting it off from day to day. For suddenly. All of a sudden shall wrath of the wrath of the Lord come forth and that's what that's what this is why I keep saying um a lot of men are not taking heed to what's being said they're not even taking a heed to the apostles of great moose on who they claim to follow so again when that <laughs> when that destruction comes when that wrath comes from the Lord you have a shy because men they're so carnal they don't they don't take heed to spiritual things so when that wrath comes it's going to be all of a sudden when you're going to be looking silly, or well, why did this happen to me? Because you were not taking heed. You were watching the videos and you had a bad mind. Ah, oh, shut up. I don't got to listen to him. Okay. F this so-called eager. Okay. Well, you keep thinking like that, but guess what? Time is going to tell. Time reveals everything. Time reveals who's sincere and who's not sincere. Okay. And that wrath is going to come all, all, all of a sudden. Verse, bear me just First Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, like when a woman's pregnant. Okay? You don't know when them labor, them labor pains are going to be. You don't know when that water's going to burst. And they shall not escape. Okay? Take heed to what the scriptures are saying. And suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security... Esau wants you to be in a secured state. Remember what the scripture says. We are not ignorant to his devices. Esau wants you to feel secure. When we're not. Well, we're secure in the Lord Jehoshua, but we're not supposed to be secure in this world. This is not our rest. It tells you that in what? Micah 2 and 10. Arise in the part for this is not our rest because it would destroy you with a sword of destruction. And in thy security, the shadow be destroyed. Okay? And perish in the day of vengeance. So it says, perish in the day of vengeance, and it says, in our security should I be destroyed. So the Lord Yahweh does not need to kill you. He, I keep saying this, he could just take the spirit away from you. Why? Because you were secure 
in your own ignorance. Don't be secure in your own ignorance. Don't do this just because the elder apostles are watching. Don't, don't do it just for that reason. Oh, I need to do videos now. The spotlight's on me. Yeah, the spotlight is on you. Okay, you can only do that jive turkey rubbish for so long. You can only use a brother for so long. You need to, that's why the scriptures work at your own salvation with fear and trembling. Remember, it's through the terror of the Lord we persuade men. We're doing this through the terror because we fear. Okay. Let's go to Matthew 24 and 38. Baba Kashar, Baba Kashar. This is Matthew 24 and 30. Let's start at 36. But of the day and hour, knoweth no man. So we don't know when people ask us. So when is he going to come? You've been saying this for years. We don't know, but we know he's coming. We know he's going to arrive. We're speaking of Yahweh Shai. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So only the heavenly father knows. But as the days of Noah were, so shall all the, also the coming of Son of Man be. In other words, in the same similitude. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage. So they were of the world. They were feasting. They were in the house of feasting. They weren't in the house of mourning. Until that the day Noah entered into the ark. And guess what? It was too late. I knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of Son of Man be. Yahweh shall come. It's going to be the same at this time. It's going to be with fire. That's why we want one to watch. Stay on our post. Baba Kishar. Stay on post. Bear me just a minute. Oh, shut up on this. Now let's go to Peter's. Lord willing, I want to do more videos like this as well. Lord willing. There's certain men that will tell you, nah, nah, don't do that, don't do that, don't speak about that. Leave it. That means you're not warning your congregation. Okay. Second Peter 3 and 9. Okay. This is 2 Peter 3 and 9. The Lord is not slack. Okay, slack is what? Slow. You may be fixing something, it's, it's, it's got a bit of slack in it. It's not running well. It's not slow. The Lord is not slack. You can even type in that word as well. Type in it, slack. It's interesting when you go into particular words. Let's go into slack. Oh, remiss. Characterized by lack of energy, sluggish, indolent, languid, okay, uncertain. What's it? Slag. <laughs> slag. Baby, just a minute. Small pieces left over of our coast. The Lord is not slack. Okay. Baby, just a minute. Inactive. Idle. Because the Lord is a, he's a, he's what, what's it, what's it? He's a working power. He's always in action. He's always doing something. The angels are all in, in, in the angels are always in action. To be attentive, to not to be neglect neglect, not to neglect. Okay. As some men Okay count slackness. So that's to those that don't believe, those that don't have faith. Oh, it's happening too long. Do you think we could be here for another four or five years? You men, you've got men thinking like that in the truth, and you thinking like that in the truth, and you're not in the right mindset. And even if that was the case, we'd still we'd still have the spirit of what we have to endure. But his long suffering to us would not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Because a lot Yahweh is very merciful. By the day of the Lord Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, unexpectedly, in which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. And us knowing this. That fear should be multiplied, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, intense heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So even the works, the things you see around you, they're going to be burnt up with fervent heat, and fervent heat is the most intense heat you can think of, and it's going to be through the missiles. Seeing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? And that's our conduct, our conduct on this truth, our mind is on this truth. Day in, day out. 
and looking for a hastening to the coming of the day how way I was shy the disciples were in Luke 21 they were looking for a hastening when this kingdom was going to go down and when the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the element shall melt with fervent heat and that's what we're waiting for okay this is, what we're this is why we can't make no telling to turn to the Lord turn to him and you could refer this to those that are new to the truth just woken up those that are just hearing this video turn to your highway of a shower right now and those that are in the truth because that's who he's really referring to as well those that are in the truth putting it off from day to day make no telling to turn to the lord your how i'm sure every day so with this lesson i hope this was edifying and until the next time shalom